It's gonna be paint day today. This is the first batch of parts in our makeshift booth right now. We got the four fenders and the trunk lid. Um, this gives enough space. I didn't want to put too many parts in here. And then after this, I'll be able to do the two doors, the hood and the little parts, the gas door and um, whatever else, the taillight things that I have. So this is the first stuff that's going in here. I just have to uh, wipe everything down, blow everything off, and it should be good to go. This stand that I made for the doors actually works perfect for these fenders, so it's actually uh, a pretty good setup. I'll be able to get all around them. And um, you know, these saw horses, they're okay for these fenders, not perfect, but I think um, they'll do just fine. And then I got this trunk lid on this table. I have it up there like that so I can do the flange on the side. So I can do the flange underneath. So that's why that's tilted up like that. So this is the first stuff to go in here. Hopefully it will come out just as good as the shell did. I know that it looks like a total mess right now, but here are my spray guns that I'm using, my base gun, Devilbus, and a soda for my clear. I've had the uh, the tips and stuff soaking overnight just to get everything out um, and get this all ready. I did this all last night, so this morning I could just come in here and start spraying. This is the base coat that we got, Limco Supreme Plus. We put mix and lid on it so we could spin it with the drill and mix it up with the metallic. If you guys are doing projects like this with um, a gallon of paint, I would just buy one of these. They're not expensive. You can get them right on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description and it makes it so much easier to mix everything up and keep it uniform. So I would highly suggest doing that. That's about it for now. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. I got to blow off all the fans, wipe everything down, and then I'm going to start painting. I'll be able to put the camera in there for a little bit to show you guys. So hopefully it's going to go good.
let's go check out this paint. Let's walk in here. I just got done with this stuff. It's been sitting for a good hour and a half now, letting it dry up. Um, it looks pretty good. It does not look too bad. Um, obviously there's some dirt in there. I know that is gonna happen in this, you know, garage in the paint booth that we have and, you know, coming off the stands and everything, but I'm gonna sand and buff all this down. But everything looks pretty good. I don't see any, you know, big runs in anything. This trunk lid definitely has more dirt than anything else in it. I'm not really sure why. I did have it in the middle of my spray area, but I'm gonna have to do the most buffing on that. But the license plate and the light and everything gets bolted on there anyways. And these fenders are looking pretty good also. So yeah, everything is looking, uh, looking pretty nice. I'm going to move all this stuff out now, put it in the sun to heat it up, and I'm gonna move the doors, you know, onto that stand, get the hood in here and the little pieces, and then hopefully I will have everything done just like I thought I wanted to do today. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like what it looks like. Um, it does look pretty good. I know it's hard to see in the video, you know, when you're watching this but it does look uh fairly good i really do like this color this is an audi paint code it's called audi tango red it's got some metallic in it but not a lot but it is a nice bright red with some metallic so i'm gonna move all this stuff out and then get going on the other parts